Hey everyone, welcome to Code. Where in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a client server chat application using Python sockets. So here's a demonstration. In this console right here, I'm going to run the server. It says waiting for connection. Then let's start running some clients. So first, run one here. When we run the client, it'll say enter your name. Let's say my name is Wickcode. Then let's run another client over here. Let's say this time my name is Greg. And when we enter a username and someone is already in the chat, it'll say their name has joined the chat. So as another demonstration, let's add another. So we just split this window. And now I'll do enter another name. Let's say Tom this time. It'll say Tom has joined the chat. Then we can just start sending messages like, hello everyone, how are you? And we can respond. So I'm doing good, how are you? And then we can easily leave the chat by say we enter bye. And it'll say Greg's left the chat, Greg's left the chat. So it'll be broadcasted out to everyone and that program will close. But so we're gonna be building this and also learning about Python threading and sockets. So to start building this application, we're just gonna start with an empty directory. And the first thing we're gonna code is the server. So I'm just gonna create a file called server.py. So first let's import the libraries that we'll need. And this is gonna be the socket library and the threading library. And so socket is a low level networking, networking interface that allows us to send messages across a network. So we're gonna use that to create sockets. And then we can use these sockets to send messages between the clients. And then the threading package allows us to run a function in a separate thread of control. And we're gonna use this in both our server and client to allow simultaneous listening and sending of messages. But so now let's you, we're gonna use a class called server to represent our server. And the first thing we're gonna do is let's just create the constructor of this class. And what I'm gonna do is just paste in, so I'm gonna paste in the code and then go over what it's doing. So essentially we create a TCP socket over IPv4. So that's what af.inet and sockstream do. Note that these are also the default values. So if we left these blank, it would be the same thing. Then we bind a socket to the host and port. So the socket we create here, we bind it to a host port, which will be localhost and then any kind of port we want. And then we're gonna start, make our socket start listening out for connections. But this number right here sets the max amount of connections. So we're gonna accept at most five connections. And we also have a static variable right here, static meaning it belongs to the class, which is called clients. And this will be a list of all the clients that are connected to the server. So we're gonna use this list essentially to loop through and send messages to any connected client. And now let's create a function called listen, which is gonna essentially make our server listen out for connections. And I'm just gonna once again paste this in, I'll paste it in right below the constructor. So essentially here, we're gonna, it's in a while true loop, so it'll run infinitely. And what we're gonna do is listen out for connections on the main thread. So this is all done on the main thread. And then when we receive a socket connection, this, will, this client socket right here essentially represents a connection to the client who connected. And then the address is information of where they're connecting from. And the first thing that will be sent down the wire from the client will be their name. So remember when we entered into the terminal we started the client program. The first thing it did was ask for a name to join the chat. So that's what this will be here, which will be sent to the server. Then we're gonna create a client object out of this with the key client name, or sorry, a client dictionary with the client name here and the client socket. Then we're gonna broadcast this message. So saying client name has joined the chat. And then we're gonna append them to the list we have and then spin off a new thread to handle this client. So each client is gonna be handled in their own thread so that we can work with multiple things at the same time. So let's create this handle new client method. So this right here though, creates a new thread and then starts it, we provide an argument, which will just be the client that connected. And then we, the target, which is what this thread is gonna run, will be the function handle new client. But so once again, let me paste this in. So it's gonna be right below our listen method called handle new client. And so we provide in the client right here, so it's a tuple. And then from the client, we extract the name and the socket. And then while true, we just listen out for messages. So this function right here is ran on a separate thread for each client. And in it, we're just listening out for, constantly listening out for messages that will be sent down the wire. And if the message is ever equal to by, then what we're gonna do is broadcast that the client has left the chat, remove them from the list so they no longer receive any messages, and then close down that connection and we'll also break out of the loop. But if the message is not by, then we're just gonna broadcast the message to all the clients. So this is how the clients will receive all the messages. 
And let's create this broadcast method now. So I'm just gonna paste this right below. So essentially all we do here is we loop through the clients. So for each client in our list, get the socket and the name. And if the client name isn't equal to the sender name, so when we, ever we call broadcast message, we put in the client name of who's sending it. And if it isn't equal to the sender name, so when we're looping through, then we will send the message. And this is because we don't want to send a message to the person who sent the message. And also note that we are encoding the message because to send stuff down the wire has to be in bytes. So we're encoding this string into bytes before sending it. But after all this, all we need to do now is just create an instance of this server. So down here, and I'm just gonna do the if main. So if we're running it directly, running this file directly, we're gonna create a server listening on localhost, port 7632. So we create the server and then we call the listen method. But that's all it takes to create the server. So now let's code our client. So I'm just gonna create a file called client.py and it's gonna be pretty similar to the server except we're gonna use an extra package and uh, methods will be a little bit different. But first I'm gonna import all this stuff and we're using the same packages here except we're using OS here which provides us with methods for interacting with the operating system. And we're essentially gonna use this to close down the client when they disconnect, so when they decide to exit the chat. And like our server, we'll represent our client with a class, and it's gonna be a class called client. And essentially, when we create a client object, so when we create an object of this class, we're gonna create a socket, and then we're gonna to attempt to connect to the provided host and port. And after we've connected, so this will connect to the server, after the socket's connected, we will get an input to enter our name. And this is what we see when we run the program and how we join the chat. And after that's done, we can talk to our server. And let me create this talk to server method. So I'll just paste it in down here. And essentially what we're gonna do is send over the name of the client. So when we enter that here, we attach it to the name property of the class, or sorry, of the object, and we encode it to bytes and send it down the socket, which is connected to the server. Then we spin up a new thread to listen to messages while in the main thread, we will be sending messages. And we do this, of course, so these two aren't blocking each other. So we can listen to messages on a separate thread. And let's just create this send message method. So down here, we have send message. And all we do here is we, for infinite loop, we're just gonna keep asking for input from the keyboard. And then when we receive it, we're gonna append the client's name to the message and then send it down the socket. That's all it takes there. But the next thing we wanna do is, now let's do our receive message. And remember, this is gonna be running on a separate thread, which you can see right here. And all we do here is for an infinite loop, we are just gonna be listening out, so constantly listening out for messages. And if we see receive an empty message, which essentially mean, will be sent down the wire when the server calls this client socket close, what we're gonna do because of that is we're gonna strip the message. And if strip, there's nothing there, we're just gonna exit out the program and then down here, we're just gonna, all this does right here is just add some color to the console. So that's why we have that red color, but that's all it takes. So now all we need to do is just create an instance of this class. So at the bottom here, if the name is equal to main, so we're running the file directly, then create the client. But that's really all it takes to create this program. So now let's just test it out. So I'm gonna open up a few more windows over here. And remember we have at max five connections. So we set that inside our server, a limit of five. But let's run our server. So it'll be python three dot dash server. So we're waiting for a connection. Now let's run some clients. So we have three clients spin up. Let's do Tom, Greg, and Sabine. And there, here's all our connections coming in. And we can see it's working. So we've seen who's joined the chat. Hey guys, what's up? Get sent to everyone, nothing much. How about you? And then I'm good. So everyone's message sending is working. And let's say bye. It says Greg has left the chat. Say bye, Greg. But that's all it takes to create a multi-client chat with Python sockets. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, if you like content like this, consider checking out my Chrome extension, link in the description, also my courses. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.